Hey, how's it going guys? Super happy today. Work power went out. They sent everybody home early. So I've got time to come out in the backyard and shoot until I can't pull back my arm anymore. But while we're going to do this, I figured uh, it's time for me to show you something real cool that I picked up. This is the GZK Hammer Pro. Um, it's my first through the forks, uh, through the forks slingshot. We're going to get out, learn how to, how to use it. And then we're going to come back in here for all the boring crap. Like the, uh, you know, like the weight, the specs, blah, blah, blah. The close-ups on the stupid green mat. We're going to get rid of all that crap at the end of this video. So let's get that intro going. And then we're going to get outside and shoot until we're done. Sorry guys, take a look at this. This handle is off the hook. You get a good grip on there, right nice and tight. You can get a good squeeze. You don't have to worry about it going nowhere. Fills up the webbing really nice in the hand right here. It's got a really low profile, so you're not gonna have that much recoil at the end. It's gonna shoot out straight. It allows you, with the canted, with the canted handle on there, it allows you just to hold your wrist straight. You don't have to adjust it this way at all. It just holds it straight. And the cool thing is, Hopefully this is uh, picking it up. See this little sight here? It's got the two little bits going through it. Once you uh, angle that up and down until you get that to be the flattest profile as possible, all you have is that little green dot that you see. At least this way, the handle keeps you this way, keeps you properly this way. And the sight is gonna help you with your up and down to make sure that the hammer grip that you're using and everything else is gonna keep, it, keep your wrist and your form in line. I love this. I'll show this a little bit later when we're downstairs checking out the specs. Sorry folks, just to let you know, uh, the bands that I'm using on here now are bands that I actually made. Uh, it did come with two different types of bands, uh, but I caught uh, both, of the, both of the bands inside the zipper of the case while I was putting my stuff away. Um, that's something to be uh, mindful about, take care of your bands. Uh, but um, we're going to be shooting a 3.8 ball and we're going to be shooting a 5.16 ball. And the bands that I made are 23 down to 15 and uh millimeters and uh it's 0.062 of a millimeter sorry it's 0.62 of a millimeter uh thick bands gzk orange so uh ooh, wind's really blowing today so let's see if we can uh, hit that stupid pheasant head oh just missed him Get that flipper. There we go. All right, so we're gonna take a few more shots uh, with the three eight balls. Then we're gonna switch over to the five eights and see how they make a, if they make any difference at all. Oh, I just skinned the bottom of them there. Oh, that was a terrible shot. That flinched like crazy. Not in there. <sighs> oh, right in the face. That was awesome. It has taken a little bit of a, a little bit of a few shots anyway to actually get used to um, my anchor point with this one. Uh, usually, when I'm shooting my other slingshot, 
I'm coming back to about up here. I'm like locking my thumb under my cheekbone. This one's lower. It's like at the corner of my mouth almost. Uh, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's got something to do with the, with the fork gap. Uh, I should probably uh, measure that out and check and see if, what the difference is between this and the Scout. But uh, that might be it actually. All right, last 3.8 ball, then we're gonna switch to the 5.16 and see which ones I find look shoot better. Three eighths is pretty good though, and uh, considering this is the first, one of the first times I've ever shot anything with the with the frame, um, this is doing quite all right. That's for sure. All right, here we are, five eight ball. Let's see how she goes. Going with that flipper. If you saw it just scoot to the side a little bit there, I think it, uh, I think I just nicked the side of it. Got it. Well, this should be fun. Let's pop some lighters. There's one. All right. Let's get the blue. There's two. Let's get the green. We go there's three there's just a red guy left let's get him four that one got a good to all things considered guys this is the first time i'm shooting uh, through the forks uh slingshot um i really uh i, I kind of like it it's a little it was a little bit difficult at first to get the to get my bearings but i think i got it all set up with my with my um with my anchor point and uh a little lighter at 10 meters i is a pretty small target i mean it is for me anyway and i was able to hit them uh, pretty reasonably so uh, i'm happy with the way that turned out uh, i did have problems with one of them took me quite a few shots to get it but the rest of them came pretty quick um, all things considered 
uh, I think uh, this is a, a wicked buy and uh, having the titanium forks having a big chunky slingshot like this it's actually pretty light all things considered uh, the uh, the sight I kind of like it <laughs> I really do uh, I was actually uh, not sure if I was gonna actually keep it because the first time I went out and shot it I couldn't hit a damn thing with it and I put it away uh, and then I destroyed the bands with the zipper of my case but um, anyway Let's just uh, keep on shooting a little bit here. We'll see what we, what we can hit, have some little fun, and then we'll go downstairs and we'll have to take a close look of it on the bench top and uh, talk about some specs. All right, last one. We gotta we gotta finish this on a good note. go holy shit do you see that three mils this thing is accurate as hell Sorry guys, I don't want to mess around too much with all the uh, all the technical crap, but I want to just get into shooting this thing as soon as possible, and I'm sure you guys too. But I'm going to show you this real quick. This is the box it comes into, and we are looking at a uh, four and a half by seven inches, and approximately uh, one and a half to one and a quarter, uh, one and three quarter inches thick. So let's open her up and take a look. So when you make an order or purchase for one of these guys, this is what your kit's gonna look like. It's gonna open on up. You'll have your uh, your slingshot already set up, ready to go inside of a plastic bag like mine was. You'll get uh, one nice ex uh, one nice setup extra band and a um, and a little bag full of uh, full of goodies. I guess uh, all the. All the hardware that you're going to need to set up and then possibly change or fix it we'll take a look at that in a minute but first let's look at the slingshot so this is what the slingshot looks like it's ab absolutely beauty the handle is made out of wood it's made out of african black wood it's a very very hard wood that they've uh, made a nice profile too you can see it's got like a like a canted palm swell or something on there and it fits into your hand amazing it's so comfortable it's incredible. The uh, the bands had already came attached, so the guy had set up the, the, the bands for me and everything like that. Attached it to the um, to the handle. The sight was already set up inside, although the sight was set all the way down, like this. Um, it's possible to shoot, uh, put the sight on the right hand side or the left hand side. So uh, whichever hand you shoot, right or left, you're going to be ready to go. You've got. Two little thumb screws right here uh, for the band sets. However, I find it very hard to uh, to turn these with your fingers. So um, they sent a little washer inside the bag here, if you can see that. Uh, and I use that for that. I don't know what the washer is for, but I use it to uh, tighten and loosen my bolts. And that works just fine. But you could use a coin or anything else I'd imagine. So all right, guys. Now that we got the little monster out of the package, let's talk about some specs. All right, so the overall length from the base of the handle to the tip of the fork is 125 millimeters. The width of the fork on the outside is 86 uh, millimeters. The inside is 58 millimeters. The, the fork width where you would attach your band is 24 millimeters. And the total weight of this is 150 grams. So considering how chunky this guy is, considering how chunky this guy is and how how, how much it fills your hand it's actually pretty light it's pretty nice so on the website uh, they, they do mention that the materials that the slingshot's made out of they call it a titanium core I'm assuming that the uh, the forks themselves are titanium considering the weight of the uh, of the whole unit and the uh, the materials of the handle is called black wood um, they say it's a very hard wood extremely hard wood uh, that uh, can be it can be affected by the uh, by the temperature outside or the humidity, so they do recommend that you uh, oil it from time to time.
Uh, they recommend walnut oil, but I'm sure tongue oil or uh, any of those other wood oils will work fine for it. So, all right, putting on and changing the bands on this thing is super simple. It's kind of neat because it's all it's a one piece construction, so you don't have to worry about having a clip or a piece falling down on the ground or whatever it is. So you'll just take your uh, just take your little washer that they've given you, give that a little turn, loosen it up just so you can spin it with your fingers, and then give it a push. Oop, and it opens right up. See that? Then your band comes out. Now you want to put your band back in. Let's fix this up here a little bit. We're all screwed up. There we go. Now to put the band back in, or once you're changing your bands, simply loosen up that bolt again, push your thumb, and you're going to slide this in until you're even with the post and even at the back to keep it all straight. And then just close it up. So just screw that in. Get it as tight as you can with your fingers. It's kind of rough on the hands, this little bolt, but it works. Then once you got it in there and it's reasonably tight just finish it off and that is not coming out of there sorry guys some of the things i figured out while i was shooting this this guy here outside today was um i tend to normally shoot a thumb brace which is uh, uh how i shoot my scout lt and i shoot my scout quite well i'm pretty pleased with the way i shoot my scout um this guy uh i had to shoot with a hammer grip which took some getting used to but also when I tried this guy out before and I was thinking to myself, I don't think I like it. Like, I think I just bought a high-end slingshot that I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. But I discovered that the clay balls that I was using were all different sizes and different shapes. So when you're out there shooting, you're just digging into your pocket. You throw one into the thing and out, out they go. And then I was like, oh, okay, you know, man, maybe it's just a slingshot. I don't know. We went inside. I put this thing away uh, and I didn't use it again. For quite a long time. This is the first time I shot it in about three weeks. So uh, at that point, I was kind of like, okay, you know what? We went back out again earlier on this week. And we were, I was shooting with Logan. And sure enough, man, I was missing everything with the Scout now. Like, what the hell is going on? And then I realized, I took, took the ammo and I was actually looking at the ammo. And they were going from 10 mil all the way down to 7 mil. And some of them were oval. Some of them had chips in them, and I was like, oh, crap, that, that ain't going to do any good. That explains why my I would shoot, and my balls were going, Rump, and I was missing everything by three, four inches, but going all over the place. It's not like I could correct anything. Okay, I'm shooting to the right. Okay, let's bring it back more to the left. Bam. Oh, no. Now I'm shooting to the left. I'm shooting high. I, like, I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized the poor quality... Uh, the poor quality of the ammo I was using was trouble. So we switched back to the uh, to the steel balls. And I built that uh, that ugly uh, that ugly ball catch over there. And we were smoking the targets all the time. It was like we were, we were hitting way more than we were missing, which was great. And I was like, okay, so it must have been the ammo. So then I told my son, I said, you know what, I got to get back out and try that, uh, that Hammer Pro. I, I think maybe, uh, you know, with all the frame hits I was having with it and all the kinds of stuff with the clay balls, let's give the, the steel ball a good go and see how it works out. Well, you saw it today. I got back out again, we started shooting, and it took a little while to get my, to get my anchor point um, worked out because I was having that problem. So normally with the Scout, I shoot with a thumb grip, thumb, a thumb grip, and I bring back my, my bands to my cheekbone. But you can see my bands here. I'm, I'm actually not looking straight down the band. The band's actually going a little bit towards the left, and I'm a little bit... Um, a little bit high on, on the on the on my cheekbone which is causing me to to go up or down or whatever it was uh, that I was having trouble but today what I did was is I used that little that little uh, sight to keep my keep my form right and I brought my thumb right under right under my lip and when I'm looking down my bands now I'm looking down my bands my bands are like everything is perfectly straight a straight line now it took me a little bit to get used to the release with the smaller balls once I did that, it was uh, it was on like Donkey Kong. Worked out great. So, unfortunately, I was thinking about it. I was like, man, you know what? I'm, I really like the design of this thing. It's really well built. It's incredibly built. But maybe through the forks isn't for me. So I went and I ordered the GZK Hammer Pro OTT. 
So I'm gonna have the, the TTF and the OTT. And I think in a few in a future video we're gonna do a, comp a comparison out uh, outside somewhere where once all this COVID crap is done and we can start shooting around, we'll set up some targets in the woods, have a lunch, and test out and see which one we like better. See if there's any uh, any do's and don'ts or anything we can come up with uh, about them that uh, that we can uh, make a comparison to see which one might be better for you or me. So it could be fun. Anyway, guys, I want to tell y'all, I want you to stay safe. Have a good time. If you can, like I have in my backyard, take a kid outside, teach him how to shoot. He's going to love it. She's going to love it. You're going to love it. Everyone's going to have fun. And uh, it's a good skill to learn. So thanks a lot for watching. You guys, stay safe. And I'll see you again soon. Hammer Pro. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this quick look at the GZK Hammer Pro, uh, I've got a couple other slingshots you might want to take a look at. So I'll attach them here on this end screen. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos like these.